We will directly start working with the lab that loads JSON formatted nested data in BigQuery table. These are the steps we will perform. Firstly, we will log in to our Google Cloud account. We will then create an empty data set in BigQuery. We will load the JSON data with nested fields. We will create a BigQuery table and upload JSON data into it. And after that, we will analyze our loaded data and perform some sample queries on our data. Now let's get started. Go to cloud.google.com. If you do not have a Google Cloud account, you need to click on get started for free. Since I have an account, I'll click on sign in. Type in your credentials. Okay, now go to the console. On the BigQuery page, click on the three vertical dots against the project name and then click on create data set. The nested JSON data that I am using for this lab demonstration is a simple employee data having columns related to employee information. So I'll provide the dataset ID as EMP dataset. Now specify the location. Now we can see our EMP dataset inside our project. Now we will have a look at the JSON formatted data that we will be using in this lab. I have created this employee data in JSON format. It has ID and then the employee which is a nested field that contains name, salary, address. The salary is again a nested field that contains salary in US dollars and euros. The addresses is another nested field and it also contains an array that can contain multiple addresses for a single employee. The addresses field consists of status, address, city, state, zip, and the number of years for that particular address. We have a total of 24 employee records in this data. Click on the three vertical dots next to your data set and click on create table. The first option we have over here is the source from which we want to create the table. So we'll choose upload and then from the browse we'll choose our JSON table. We need to choose the format. Now we need to provide the table ID. Next we have the schema option and we'll choose auto detect. Click on create table. So our table has been successfully created. Click on the table name. We can see the details of the table schema. So there are two main columns which are ID and employee. The data type for the employee field is record. This is a data type specifically designed to store nested data within the field. So whenever we see a record data type, we know that it contains nested fields. The record data type is equivalent to a struct in the standard SQL, which is a container for ordered fields. There is an arrow to the left of the employee field. So if we extend this, We can see the columns of age, address, salary, and name. Age is of the integer type, while the name is of the string data type. The address and salary columns are again the record. When we extend the address column, we can see the fields of zip, city, state, address, number of years, and status. Notice that within a nested field, there can be different data types. For example, zip has an integer data type 
while state has a string data type. Also, we can see that the mode of the addresses field is repeated. This means that there can be multiple addresses for a single employee. Since this is a record type with repeated mode, we can call this an array of struct. The salary column within the employee struct is also a nested column. It contains salary both in dollars and euros. But we can see that the mode for this is not repeated, which means that there cannot be multiple salaries for a single employee. Now let's look at the preview tab. Here we can see all the nested and unnested fields along with their data. But the nested fields are identified by the dot operator. So here it is employee.age, meaning that age is contained within the employee column. Next we can see the employee.addresses.zip column, which means that zip is contained in the addresses struct and the addresses is contained in the employee struct. In this way, we can have nested fields of any depth. So here we have two rows for each record because each employee has two addresses. It can be identified with the address status which can be either current or previous. Now we will see how to apply SQL queries on our nested JSON data. Click on the query option and click on split tab. Now let's write a query to extract the names and addresses of all the employees whose salary in US dollars is greater than or equal to 300,000. So we'll choose the columns from the schema. So we can see that the nested columns are indicated by the dot operator. We have chosen employee.node, employee.addresses, from the table. We want to extract the salaries in US dollars only, so we will write employee.salary.usd in the WHERE clause and then we will give it a condition that it should be greater than or equal to 300,000. Let us run this query. So we have 12 records that meet this condition. and we have two rows for each record. Now we will write another query to extract all the distinct states where the employees are currently located. So we will say employee.addresses.state and in the WHERE clause we need to specify that the state names are from the current addresses. So we will write employees.addresses.status equals current. We can see an error which says cannot access field state on a value with type array. This is because it is not possible to query directly from within an array of struct unless we unnest that field. So for unnesting the addresses field, we will write the unnest function after the table name and within the parenthesis, we will specify employee.addresses field. And we will give it an alias add. So over here, we can write add.state, which represents our unnest function. And we will also write add.status in the where clause. Now it shows us the green check mark which means that the query is valid. Let's run this query. And now we can see all the US states where the employees are currently located. In this lab, we went through the process of loading and querying the nested JSON table in the Google Cloud BigQuery. I hope this was helpful in giving you the understanding of how to treat nested data inside the BigQuery service. Thank you and have a nice day.